So a couple important points about this ripple of power. Again, there are many sources of power, but we're looking at this lower body to the upper body uh, power transmission. So I would add one more thing to the Tai Chi expression of power is rooted in the feet, powered by the legs, directed by the waist and expressed by the hands. And I think I'm on safe ground on this because my Tai Chi teacher, Jean Burnett, uh, has talked about this many times. So there's one essential missing component in that old Tai Chi expression, which is the hips and the pelvis. So Joseph Pilates, the founder of Pilates, the Pilates movement, described this area as the power engine, the power center. And that's the hips and the pelvis. Remember, the spine of the upper torso is anchored inside the pelvis. So when we are trying to do anything with our upper body, everything starts in this pelvic area and then is transmitted up into the spine, out to the muscles, etc. So for the sake of this lesson, I want to modify that Tai Chi expression. So I think it should go, power is rooted in the feet, powered by the legs, hips, and pelvis, directed by the waist, and expressed by the hands. So without this hip and pelvic snap, so it's more than a turn, it's like a pivot, it's a quick dynamic torquing action, quite a bit different than just a slow rotating action, but a kind of a twitch action in the hips and pelvis, tremendously powerful. And without that, this rising energy of the legs would go up and the transmission would be broken, right? Then we'd be back to a local power action in our upper body with our arms. So for these long distance shots of Curry's, you'll see, of course, the much deeper knee bend. And then as he's rising, you'll see a much more dynamic pelvis and hip snap, uh, which is gonna send a huge amount of energy into his upper body and finally into his shooting arm. Now Curry is shooting just inside the half court line, probably around 40 feet away. Now he needs more power and you see the forward lean of his uh, body. As Curry rises and executes this pelvis hip snap, you can see his left hip has swung around and brought his right side shooting arm into alignment with his right hip and leg. In this final photo you see the leg split and you see a little bit of the buttocks back thrust as this propels energy forward for this curry long range shot.